I'm Despina Filiu, and I'm a senior lecturer at Manchester Metropolitan University. This is part of innovation and entrepreneurship. Let us now have a look at how you could develop an overview of your business so as to help you understand how everything links together in creating, delivering and capturing value. Your business model reflects the way that you link your activities together to create and offer unique value. A business model canvas is a pictorial representation of how your business achieves exactly that. It includes the key areas of your business, activities, resources, infrastructure, and relationships with consumers and other partners. At the center of your business model canvas lies your value proposition, all the ways that your product offering meets or exceeds consumer expectations, such as product features, price, and accessibility. The right-hand side of your business model canvas represents your market segments, and the left-hand side, your key partners, such as your suppliers, providing key resources to your business. Key resources and key activities are the main ingredients of your business. Your partners provide you access to capital, skills, and valued experience and expertise. You could be outsourcing some of your core activities to your partners, such as delivery, warehousing, logistics, distribution, and product promotion. The business model canvas includes the different channels you use to make the value of your product known, visible, and accessible to consumers. Your channels of communication with consumers include anything that helps them to know about you and your product offering and the ways that they can get access to your product. Examples are all marketing channels that include product awareness, channels of distribution, relationships with retailers, product packaging, any added services and after-sales support. They also include any other communication with consumers that helps to reinforce the value and uniqueness of your product. Consumer relationships are the various ways you use to interact with your consumers and to build a continuous and strong relationship with them. For example, you could use social media to create a fan base and establish a long-lasting relationship with your consumers. You can use social media to find out the initial reaction of the market to a new product and to get valuable feedback. Feedback is very important in improving your product and in maintaining consumer satisfaction. Staying in touch with past consumers through after-sales support and email promotions about new product lines can help you maintain a robust clientele. At the bottom end of your canvas lie your cost structure and revenue streams. Your revenue stream is heavily influenced by the size of your market, the price that consumers are willing to pay for your product, your value proposition and the variety of competing products. Sales generate your main value stream. You could also generate income from after-sales support, providing services to other businesses, renting out some of your facilities, or licensing out your brand name. E-business can provide an additional way to increase your revenue stream as you expand your market and you can gain additional advertising income by promoting your partners on your website. For your business to be healthy and viable, your revenues must exceed your costs. Your costs are not only the price you pay for your key resources, they also include salaries for yourself, your employees and other contractors. The cost of office space, replacing or maintaining your equipment and any variable costs such as those related to marketing campaigns and outsourcing key activities. All this can inflate your cost structure. Maintaining your cost structure low and finding new ways to generate income are key to the survival of your business. This matrix 
So it's the key questions you can ask yourself to create a business model canvas for your business. The next video will show an application of the business model canvas.